First and foremost, this is an amazing movie, and I know you, I, you know, going in, I get caught up because this is with the big one shot thing. Yeah. But then you get so caught up into the story that you, I. For, Good, I did my job. You did your Thank job. God. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Uh, I know the story came from Sam's grandfather. Uh, talk to me about that collab collaboration process with Sam and yeah. about when he just kind of laid out the story for you. So, Sam and I have worked together a bunch of times actually. I, I started on Penny Dreadful, which he exec produced, and then we had another couple of projects together that I wrote for him that for rights issues didn't go. And then, um, so he phoned me up one day. Uh, and he was like, third time's the charm. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Uh, and he's like, I have this story I want to tell. It's inspired by my grandfather and, and what he went through in the First World War. And he didn't know I was a war buff at the time. So I was, I mean, like, I was like, oh, don't mess this up. Make sure you get this job. Uh, and so he said to me, am I interested? And I was like, of course I am. Like, I can't, I can't wait to get into it. And he was like, okay, uh, so I'll come by my house Tuesday. I was like, great. And he's like, oh, by the way, it's all going to be one shot. And then hung up. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't hear that, did I? Um, and so I turned up on Tuesday and, and we basically sat down and we were like, OK, this is everything that both of us want to see in a war movie. This is how we want to kind of pay homage to the men that fought in this war, this horrific war, the men that fought, that died, that survived. Um, and we went through and we got a map and, and we knew the day and everything that we wanted to use and we carved out a journey for these men. And then we began to work on their characters. And Sam's so open, he's so collaborative. Um, he's really wonderful to work with. And sometimes as a young woman you worry, you go into these rooms and you're dismissed, but sure. with Sam, it never factors into it. You're really treated as an equal. I think that's what makes him so incredibly brilliant as a director is he listens to everyone. He leads from the front, he knows what he wants, but he, he, he'll allow you to change his mind a little bit. <laughs> now, how did your background in horror kind of help you prepare for the cruelty of war? Um, well, I worked on Penny Dreadful, which was a bit kind yeah. of like Victorian horror. Um, actually, that didn't really play a part in this. What played the huge role for me was um, growing up being just interested in history. Um, so you've always been like a history book. Really, really, really interesting. My grandfather, um, he really believed that to avoid future catastrophe, you should learn from the past. Um, that we as a society, like history was one of the most important things. And so I grew up, you know, he would read me stories about the war, first and second. He, he really impressed upon me the the importance of learning about that. Um, so I was always kind of really obsessed by it. Uh, I would go to France, Northern France, and do tours when I was very young with him. Um, so I'd always had a huge respect for the men right. who'd fought and died, and that really informed this process because I came with so much information, both from literature, from art, and from real first-hand accounts, and I was able to bring that to this film. Now, there's a, there's a great line in this film. I'm going to paraphrase it, but it's yeah. something along the lines of, like, why did you choose me for this? And he says, well, I thought it was going to be something easy, like getting food. Can you talk to me about the two main characters that, that Dean and George play? Because mm -hmm. I feel like they're so relatable in so many different ways, but also something I didn't realize after researching this is how young the men were at war. Yeah, my God, I mean, really young. And a lot of young men lied about their age to, to enlist, um, even younger than they were. In fact, in my research, I was at the Loch Nagar Crater, which is a is an explosion site. It looks like an asteroid. It is so unbelievably oh, wow. large. Um, and around it, they have, in tribute to the men who died there, their names and ages carved, and there was a 15-year-old boy. Wow. Um, and I remember kind of being there younger, and you think, oh, well, you know, they were soldiers, they were grown men. And when I went out this last time for research for this project in, in particular, I realized I was older than most of the men in the cemeteries. Wow. Um, and so that was really, like, harrowing. They, they, they were so incredibly young. And I think a stroke of genius by Sam in the casting of this, by, by Sam and Nima, Nina Gold, um, was casting George and, and Dean Charles because they look incredibly young. They are incredibly young, but, they, but Dean looks even younger than he is. And it really brings home this idea of, like, that they weren't grown men, that they didn't know what they were going to, uh, that they were children to the slaughter, really. Um, and also just the idea of casting George and Dean, who, are, who aren't, you know, superstars yet. I mean, they yeah, will be yeah. because they're absolutely fantastic. But it gives the story a sense of jeopardy. You don't know if they'll make it or not.